giving you guys the key to success. Literally the key to success. Okay, what's up YouTube? It's your girl, that's Access Center Building. Back with another YouTube video. Okay, so y'all already know about the title. Y'all already know what's going on. Um, for those that may not know, um, my name is Inesia Cooper. I'm a former um, graduate from Tongue Point Job Corps in Astoria, Oregon. Moved all the way to Mass from Massachusetts to attend that Job Corps Center. Whew, there was a lot of stuff going on in that center. Luckily, I just took my certification as a dental assistant and said deuces and pieced up out of there. But I had to do what I had to do. Um, a lot of people kept asking to do another q and I saw a couple questions in my comment section. A lot of people's um, asking for more videos, DMing me. So I'm just going to uh, return the video to you guys. Uh, I know that you guys watch me. I know that some people uh, do watch me. So I just want to keep uh, continuing to share my experience uh, during my job core year. Um, I did nine months in a pro program, and I'm currently four months, uh, I graduated four months ago, and I have a successful dental assistant job, and I'm doing pretty good. I moved to New York, and I'm, this is my new life here, so what can I say? The money is good. The experience was all right at Job Corps, but at least I got what I got, and now I'm making my money. Um... So yeah, let's get into started into this video. I've only seen a couple questions, but I'll just definitely um, answer them. If you guys have any questions in the comment section, please let me know by any means. And I'll probably just make another video because basically this is just a part two. Um, another thing I wanted to say, I do see a lot of people watching my videos, but it's not subscribing. Um, if you could just do me a favor and like my video or even give a subscribe, you know, show some love. I'm giving you all information. Help me help you. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, you got to show love. I'm showing love one way, but you got to show love the other way. Um, let's get into this video, though. Okay, I have a couple, a couple questions written down here. Um, and I'm just going to, oh, somebody just, Okay. Somebody just subscribed to my channel now. Okay, so the first one are is um, are they are there four bedrooms now? Um, this was by Naomi Brunson. Um, they do have four bedrooms. Once you get out of quarantine, um, you go into either your residential uh, area where the girls are at or the boys are at. Sometimes they have three to a room. Sometimes they have four to a room they can even have one to a room but that means that uh you have to be at a really good level so they so you can have your own room and that's gold and platinum so if you're around gold and platinum you're automatically getting your entire room to yourself so that's why i advise people at job corp now if you're looking at this video now definitely try to get on gold and platinum basically you can do anything that you want i know the weekend passes get like released like you can basically have more freedom than if you're on bronze or if you're on silver, which ain't really getting you nowhere. So, and plus, to get a job also, you need to be on a, at least, I believe, silver and up. The second question is, is there a refrigerator in the rooms by Nigel Brown? No, actually no, because I actioned RA this and the RA was like, no, if you guys have a refrigerator in the room, then you guys are going to get written up. So I advise you not to buy a refrigerator in the room just to save trouble because these people would just try to, you know, try to write you up for anything and get you the hell up out of there. So I advise you just not to bring a refrigerator in the room. There is a refrigerator. Um, there should be a refrigerator somewhere. I know some job corps have their own kitchens, which I do, which I did in their own residential area. So definitely look around and see if you can use a kitchen, maybe even downstairs or 
somewhere around because they do allow you to uh, get your own food. So they should supply like a stove for you guys and stuff like that, if I'm not mistaken, because I definitely had um, a whole big refrigerator and a stove. But you guys got to make sure that people ain't stealing y'all stuff because some people do like to steal people things and that's that's not all right. That's not cool. Um, I had a couple people stealing things from the refrigerator and they never even bought food. Sometimes you have to really just like put people in line because I mean you spending money on Instacart and then not even to mention most job course centers are like basically in the middle of nowhere so Pete you have to uh, do Instacart or even do like a weekend pass I know they're um, opening up shopping pass I think they opened up shopping passes in jobs uh, center but back then when we, we didn't have that it was just you have to order off an Instacart and you get your food just like that but it's too much money to be spending for somebody else to be stealing your shit so maybe Make sure you put your name on your stuff and make sure you just make sure you just don't catch nobody taking your stuff um another thing what should i pack all together by miss kanisha um all together i would say pack your own rags your own just your own hygiene kit because you're either going to be spending money in a student store or like you have to like rack up you have to just rack up like mad money the little money that they give you to like really keep up on your hygiene so definitely keep i would say most importantly hygiene stuff anything that you do to keep yourself smelling good smelling nice or whatever just keep up with that make sure you bring a whole ton of hygiene stuff you don't even need all that clothes because you're going to be in trade all that goddamn day monday through friday saturday sunday you can wear a couple hour outfits if you're impressing somebody you're not really impressing somebody so i mean but hey if you want to look nice on the weekend all by any means necessary do what you have to do you know so boom i definitely think uh yeah, bring your own hygiene kit. I would say for girls that like to wear the wigs and stuff like that, make sure y'all have a whole bunch and either save them or either uh, buy some off of online. But sometimes the shipping be taking a little bit long and people don't got money like that. So I advise you guys to definitely save your money because when y'all got get out into the real world, you're gonna you're gonna need your money. Like that's one thing I also learned from like being in job or like saving like your money is like really important because when you want to get an apartment or when you have a car when you have a car bill to pay, there's a lot of there's a lot of bills that's gonna be thrown your way. So you do need to save your money, and I just feel like I mean enjoy your fun now but later on when you get out you're just gonna have a ton of responsibilities that you need to do so most of y'all may know this but for those that don't i'm just letting you guys know and i'm not trying to be rude not trying to give no attitude that's this is just how my personality is i'm just trying to let you guys know that get y'all stuff together get in there and get out get in there and get out all that relationships all that having sex all this all this all that no you're not there for that. You're not there for that. Don't do shit that will get you in trouble there. Because one small thing that you might think that you ain't, that one small thing that you think that you do wrong don't really mean nothing to you, but it probably means something to them. You could have went across, you could have went against their like ground rules and you could have got kicked out. Or even sometimes if you do something like really bad, you could also go to court for it. So don't mess up your life over relationships. Don't mess up your life over just stupid things because I know that some girls be I know that some girls be fighting over these dudes, but trust me, sis, they're not worth it. Including with the guys too. Don't be fighting over these females because these females ain't really nothing nowadays. All they want to do is take money with the little money that you do get from Job Corps. And they just they, honestly friends ain't even all that either like i just say get in there and go if you really want your life to be successful there follow the text tricks and tips that i give you guys i'm literally giving you guys the key to be successful in job corps like i'm literally giving you guys the key to be successful in job corps so uh look at my other videos and y'all will know like y'all will know that like everything like go look at my whole list of videos regarding the job core i'm giving you guys the key to success literally the key to success so y'all need to watch it take it in take it into consideration and really just like 
move upon that. Like, I'm helping y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to help you guys. Like, I want to let you guys know what's up, what you guys are going to be walking into. Because... I'm just a helpful person like that. I, want, I like sharing my experience so other people can move in a positive route about it. Um, okay. Last but not least, they said Job Corp channel, question mark. Girl, I don't have that channel no more. I don't, work, I don't go to Job Corp anymore. Um, I finished up a lot quickly than I expected. I thought I was going to stay there for almost like two years, but I really just put my work together and just did my shit and left. So I don't go there no more. So I ain't really posting too much on there. If you guys want me to change the channel or if you guys think of like creative ideas for me to do with that channel um, and I'll drop the channel. I don't have no problem dropping the channel and um, we can just keep continuing there from there. If you guys have any other questions, please let me know. And I hope you guys have a great Sunday. Praise the Lord. Amen. Peace out.